still the Hollywood folks are changing up the origin stories again. This time, it's the beloved ninja clad in all black from G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes. Yes, the one silent ninja has not only been race swapped, but he's been unmasked and talks now too. Henry Golding from Crazy Rich Asians or some stupid movie that I haven't seen nor will I ever watch is now portraying the titular hero in the forthcoming G.I. Joe Origins movie meant to restart the live action franchise. But I'll spare you the details aside from the hilarious irony about them race swapping a pre-established white character was that he was a ninja. So are they abiding by the stereotype that all Asians know martial arts? If so, as they say, That's highly problematic and gross. But this is the trend now, which is hilarious if you really sit back and think about the mental gymnastics that go into justifying this kind of occurrence. You're literally taking hand-me-downs and presenting them as new and expecting everyone to fire up the virtue signal and fervently applaud your labor. I mean, let's look at a few of these that stick out in our minds, shall we? Because they're relevant in the zeitgeist. First, we have the odd flex by Marvel which really should come as no surprise that they proclaim that Cat Pan Mediocre is the actual first Avenger after the initial entry into the Captain America trilogy is literally titled Captain America the First Fucking Avenger. Then with the release of Black Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Marvel again leaned on the Captain America retcons by blowing the dust off the 2003 release of Red, White, and Truth, a comic which proclaimed that Isaiah Bradley, a black man, was the first Captain America. But it was never made public as they attempted to shield it from criticism by using the Tuskegee experiments as a baseline for their logic. I get it, Disney. You hate white people, or at least you want to give off the optics that you do because that's really socially acceptable. Because as Will Ferrell said in Zoolander, it's so hot right now to hate white people. At least Samara Weaving looks like Scarlet, which is a shock giving Hollywood's open disdain for casting redheads in roles that are based off a redhead character. See Red Sonia. Which is more than I can say for the Baroness, who while the actress is very attractive, looks like she just finished ringing up my $14.75 coffee and now wants to lecture me on why my white privilege allowed me to purchase it and that systemic racism is lurking around every corner. I mean, even Storm Shadow was like, oh, we don't have to wear these masks now? What's next? Destro peeling off his metal mask and looking like a gas station employee? But hey, what do I know?